Hello, my name is Braden Reed. I'm a phone technician with ShotRock, and today's video is going to be about reporting. Uh, this video is strictly for administrative users, people that have an admin login. Uh, if you are not an admin user, then you don't really need this video. So let's just get right to it. We're going to the reporting tab here, and we have a few options, call reports, queue reports, custom reports. Uh, let's, let's start with some custom reports, scheduled reports that run automatically that you don't have to get in and run the report yourself. So we go to schedule report and then we want to create a scheduled queue report. Most of the time queue reports are going to be the most common for most companies to see how the queue groups are doing. So I'm going to run the report name as test. We want it to be an Excel file and then choose the desired email that you want the report to be sent to. So this could be uh, the CEO, it could be the manager of the Q department, whatever it is for your company, just whatever email you see fit. We want to go over to schedule information. We want it to start today and run forever, no end date. And we can choose how often we want this report to run. So I'm going to say weekly. And we can say run the report at 12 a.m., run it on Sundays, run every week. So put a 1 there. And then we want to start the date for each scheduled report. It's going to be one week. So that will run a week at a time every week. After that's all set up, we're going to go over to report parameters, and this is what we want to actually be in the report itself. So for us on this system, we're going to ignore weekends and report because we don't take queue calls on the weekends. We're going to select call queues, and then from here we can select which queues we want to use. So for me, I'm going to use parts and service. Remember you can hit control and click multiple Otherwise, if you just click, it's going to select one. So hold control, I can select two. And then I need to choose what report fields I want to use and how I want it to be broken down. So I'm going to say total calls, hold control, and I'm going to click, let's see, redirected calls, average talking time, and let's do maximum talking time. Okay, and then port breakdown, we can do it by queue, by date, by day of week. So let's say by day of week. So it's pretty customizable how you want it to run the report. But from there, that's it. We're going to save the report. And then it's going to show that we have a test report set up here. Start date is today with no end date and it's going to run the report once a week. We can delete any of these at any time. So for the purpose of the video, I'm going to go ahead and delete this test and move on to the next one. So back under reporting, see we also have queue reports. So we can kind of run the same sort of report we did on the schedule, but do it real time. So let's say we want to check from Monday of last week, March 28th, to Friday the 1st, a week report. We want to ignore weekends. We're going to select call queues, parts and service, by day of the week, total calls, redirected calls, average talking time, max talking time. So that's just kind of just how we set up our scheduled report so we can see what it's actually going to look like, but this will give it to us in real time. So we can outport these to put them into an Excel file, or we can just view the report here right in the program. So if I hit view report, it's giving me by day, total number of calls for each, both of these groups, and redirected, average talk time, max talk time. 
if I change just this breakdown here to buy Q view report, it's going to break it down by Q. So now we see the total number of calls for each of those groups, how many calls they redirected somewhere else, how long they talked for, and the, the longest amount of time they talked for. Okay. So any of these fields can be changed and we can run another report on the fly. So view report, completed calls, it's just going to give us completed calls. Uh, we want to run maximum wait time for redirected calls. 40 seconds, 30 seconds. So we can run a report for a lot of things here. The other reporting tab here is call reports. We have multiple options here. So we can do it by phone. If I wanted to choose a set extension, so let's grab somebody in the parts group here, uh, John Fox. Total number of calls what's set from last uh, last Monday. Ignore weekends, run it by date, and then we want to see total number of calls. So this gives us by date how many calls John has been taking on a daily basis. His average is 43 calls a day, and he's taken 350 total in that time frame. So this gives us a breakdown. But we can also do uh, by, by hour of the day if we wanted to. Let it run the report. And now this is going to give us by time of day how many calls he's taking during that time span. So clearly business hours are 8 to 5 and that's when he's taking calls so it's slow in the morning, slow in the afternoon, it's right in the middle of the day is when he's busiest. So that's kind of a breakdown of how to use the reporting features uh, they're very customizable however we want to run the reports uh, we can go by caller ID if we know a caller ID number that calls a lot we want to check on it if we want to see all the company's calls uh, many options on what we want to run reporting on. So just get in there and play with it. Um, if you guys have any questions or any issues, you can always email us. That's helpdesk at shotrock.com. And we'd be happy to help you. Thank you.